Hello, this is Dust, and as you can see, we're going to be doing Half-Life today. I've played through it a little bit, but not too much. So, this should be good. I'm just going to do it on the easiest difficulty. Okay. And welcome to the Block Mesa Hazard Course, where you'll be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these, be present, and I will appear to demonstrate. Bye. Welcome to the HEV Block 4 Protective System for use in hazardous. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting. Yeah, sorry for all the audio and video stuff right now. It's running really terribly on my The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. Very good. I hardly noticed. Move on to the next area. Now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then... Good work. You will look prepared for the next area. Okay. To get into these parts, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and Here. continue to press the uh, okay. Yeah, the demo's quite easy, especially if you already know all the commands and stuff. Nice job. Like me. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to have a now, just move. Yeah, the next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised. <laughs> Great work. Jumps. Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Nice job. There we go. Yes, I know every single bit of this already, so... It's not too difficult yet. Hope I'm not going too fast. Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the button. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Can't wait to get to the shooting stuff. Sorry. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Fantastic. Okay. That was easy. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Yeah, no. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key okay. to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. Okay, goodbye, boys. I'm going to just, like, push these. <laughs> Finally, if nothing else, 
You can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the debris. Destroy everything. Okay. Oh, not a great on that one. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. 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 Flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Yeah, I think I got that. This is Welcome simple. to the Black Mesa target range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. Pull up on ammo. Make sure I got enough things to blow stuff up with, and let's go. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. <clears throat> Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Find out how to shoot grenades at this thing now. Don't remember. That one just doesn't. I think I might have messed something up here. Can't shoot. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I found out what the problem is. <laughs> I can do that now. <laughs> the Black Mesa target range. Please advance to the next area. Yeah. Your right, HEV one. suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need. Catch your See the blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads-up display, returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. Oh, it keeps going. <coughs> this is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, step up to any charger and press your use key. Your suit will recharge okay. gradually until the charge unit is depleted. Individual batteries may Please stop talking so I can run away. fire or steam, you will see a heat damage <coughs> icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of your proximity to radiation activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with a luminous icon. <laughs> advance to the next area.